In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options in infographic slide and this slide you can easily replace with some bullet points. Okay, so instead of creating a normal bullet points, you can use this slide. So when I click the first option comes where I have put the uh, the icon here with some dark background and then you can add the option number the title and the detail text when i click it will show with a different color combination the option two the option three option four and option five please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, select the rectangle. Just click it here, go to the shape format, make the height as 3.15 and the width as 2.67 and shape outline, make it no outline and then exactly place it here then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and give some different color here later on we can change this color and put it exactly at the bottom then select both the shapes hold the shift ctrl shift key and drag it to the right side okay so here i'm going to give some different color for example i'm going to give the same color which is this one but here i'm going to give a color which can be any color here also you can just change and give any color of your choice okay the next thing is i'm going to do add one right triangle for that go to insert shapes select the right triangle draw a small right triangle shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in here and put it exactly here then go to the rotate you have to select flip vertical and then flip horizontal make sure that it is properly aligned okay so once this is done i'm going to merge it and before that one let me just take this one to our next rectangle as well so press ctrl d and put it here exactly on top of this and then i'm going to make it flip vertical and align it properly all right so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this small rectangle right triangle go to the merge shape and make it a union and bring this to front okay so now i'm going to select the same thing i'm going to select this rectangle hold the shift key select this right triangle merge shape and make it a union so our shape looks something like this now i'm going to select all these four shapes hold the control shift key and just drag it to the right and then i'm going to select this shape hold the control shift key and drag it to the right all right so it looks something like this now depending on the requirement i can just go and change any color of my choice okay you can see here i'm just adding some random colors so depending on the requirement you can just give any color of your choice okay and this uh gray rectangles i'm going to change this to white all right so it looks something like this so once this is done go to insert click on icons and choose any five uh, icons depending on the requirement so i'm just going to choose some uh, random icons here so let me just choose the icon which is maybe uh, this one i'll select this one five icons total so this is three and this is four and this is five and click insert and move this aside and make the height and width as 1.5 all right and then i'm going to select each one you have to just make sure that you have to select the right thing otherwise it will move the box okay so i'm going to put it this one here and now i'm going to select this one i'm going to put this binocular here and this house here you can see i'm going to put it here and this one here all right so you can see here i've added this one and again if you want you can just make the color of this icons to white so select the icons and choose the color to white 
so once this is done what i can do is i can select both these shapes this and this press ctrl g to group it then i'm going to select this one and this press ctrl g then again this one all right so here also i'm going to select the same and group it and here also group it all right so once this is done go to insert text box here i'm going to type 01 make it the font size as open sans extra bold center aligned if you want to increase the size increase it and keep it here hold the control shift key bring this down the font i'm going to make this as semi bold and reduce the font size to maybe 18 and change it to title and then i'm going to just duplicate this by pressing the control shift key and the font i'm going to use open sans only and make it 14 the color i'm going to make it a kind of a gray and let me just add some detailed text here i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete it few of the lines and maybe 12 will be better yeah all right so now i'm going to hold the control shift key just drag this one to the other options and here also drag it here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and this will come here ctrl d this will come here and ctrl d this will come here all right so now again the same thing i'm just going to drag this here so this is my option number two this is my option number three option number four and option number five and once this is done i'm going to group this as well press ctrl g to group it and send this to back so here also select this one ctrl g send to back here also the same thing ctrl g to group it and send this to back here also press ctrl g send to back and then the last one ctrl g and send to back all right so once this is done let's do the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these two and make it fly in fly in this should come from bottom okay and this should come from top okay and this should be with previous if i play it comes something like this now the other way around i'm going to select this one and click it here so this has to come from top now and the animation i'm going to copy the same animation here it should come from bottom so how it works it works something like this okay so now it's very easy for me i just select this one for third option and fourth options i have to copy this animation effect and for fifth i need to copy this animation effect so let me just play now on the slideshow so the first option comes second third fourth and fifth 